Jessie Blackburn, 1894 to 1995. Jessie was born on the 20th of April, 1894, in Cradley, Worcestershire, to a wealthy family. On a visit to a friend in Paris, Jessie, aged 18, met her husband, Robert Blackburn. Robert was an aviation engineer who started the Blackburn Aeroplane Company. Jessie and Robert married a few months after World War I started. During the wedding reception, a telegram came from the Admiralty to request warplanes. They spent their wedding night travelling to London to meet with Winston Churchill. On marrying, Jessie received her inheritance, which she used to build and develop the company, which today is under the ownership of British Aerospace. Jessie learnt to fly soon after marriage, but there were no pilot's clothes for women. She had to learn in a heavy woolen riding dress. She was the first woman to fly a monoplane and took part in the prestigious two-day, over a thousand miles King's Cup air races in 1922 and 1928. With her vivacious personality, Jessie became a valued ambassador for the business. Her home became the place to be for people like Sir Winston Churchill, Amy Johnson, Lord Northcliffe, Louise Bluriot and Sir Sefton Branker. She acted as head of marketing on all the trips abroad as her husband Robert didn't like meeting new people. He was happier doing the engineering. Jessie moved to Eastbourne in the 1960s celebrating her 100th birthday at the Grand Hotel. If Jessie was alive today, what do you think she would be doing now? Perhaps a fighter pilot or astronaut or the chief executive of British Aerospace.